Taylor Fabus here with Michigan State University Extension at the MSU Horse Teaching and Research Center. Striking Command and I are going to teach you about how to take some vital signs. We're going to start out with a real simple one. Let's talk about respiration rate. So we just want to know how often in a minute span this horse is taking a breath. What may surprise you is he's not going to take that many breaths and the way that you measure it is very simple. All you're going to have to do is watch the rise and fall of his flank area. Each time that he takes a breath in, it will contract, and when he releases that breath, it will go down. So that's all you do. You'll want to stand back, watch the horse take breaths, and measure how often he does that within a minute span. Here's some myths, some things that you do not want to do. You don't want to just focus on the horse's nostrils, put your hand up to their nostrils and allow them to breathe. What will most horses do? They'll sniff you, they'll think you have a treat, and all of a sudden, you'll get three quick breaths and you'll think, hmm, the horse's respiration is off of it. What's ideal? We expect a horse that's a mature horse, that's just healthy, hasn't been exercising, to have a respiration rate somewhere between eight and 14. Hope this information's helpful. Okay. Now let's talk about taking the horse's heart rate or their pulse. My favorite way to do it is using a stethoscope. You can try to palpate and feel the horse's pulse with a couple different arteries, but I'll be honest, I haven't had much success personally doing that, but I always have success using a good old stethoscope. So I'm going to put it on with the ear portions pointed towards my nose when I put it on. And I'm going to want to put this right behind the horse's elbow against the rib cage. Now what may surprise you if you've never listened to a horse's heart rate is it's actually a pretty faint noise. I thought it would be much louder myself. So you'll be quiet, you'll listen, and you'll hear a very low lub-dub noise. What we'll expect is to hear that horse's heartbeat about 28 to 40 times within a minute span. I hope this information is helpful. So it's time to learn about one of the least glamorous vital signs that we can take, but it's extremely important. We're gonna talk about taking the horse's rectal temperature. So I have a digital thermometer here, and we are going to stand off to the side of the horse. I'm standing close enough to where if the horse did try to kick me, he's not going to be able to get very much done. I'm very close to him. So I feel like I'm in the safety zone. And I'm also standing off to the side. I've seen lots of people do this when they're standing directly behind the horse. That's just not ideal for safety's concern. So we have the horse's tail. If they really don't want you to take their temperature, they can. this is a pretty strong muscle, so they can clamp it down. So what I like to do is just push the tail off to the side, turn my thermometer on, I'm going to insert it about an inch and a half, two inches into the rectum, and then I'll just wait to hear the beep. Then maybe we could fast forward because yep. it takes like two minutes. Okay. While we're waiting for the thermometer to beep and complete taking the temperature, you'll notice that I continue to stand off to the side of the horse. You can even kind of pet them, scratch them, just let them know that you're back here, ideally still talking so he knows where I'm standing. And I'm not concerned about holding his tail up. His tail is out of my way and I'm just waiting for the cue from the thermometer that it's done. And there it goes. And his temperature is right at 100 which is ideal. We expect his temperature to be somewhere between 99 and 101 for a healthy horse. We expect his temperature to be somewhere between 99 and 101. Hope this helps. Thanks.